leader has just done a 50.4. Welcome, everybody. I am uh, here for the WWZ Series 1 Race 3 at Lime Rock Park. And uh, getting a little practice lap. This is my first lap actually out on course. So we'll see how we start doing here. I've already made the mistake of putting on my wrong glasses. So that won't last for long. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Five. That's all right, Jeff. So uh, thanks for joining me. Wild West Zones PCA Sim Racing Series 1, Race 3. Good evening, Rockford. gentlemen. Do we have anybody uh, that's uh, new this week? Looks like we're going to do a little driver's meeting ahead of qualifying. Okay, hearing none, I'll make this driver's meeting short and sweet. You know uh, the, the yellow flag on the first lap. Uh, if you have any problems during the race, bring it up to the race stewards before the end of the race or after the race. Uh, Chip and I will hang out here for a little bit to see what's going on. Uh, There's two 20-minute heats with a five-minute break in between, and the heat number two is going to be an inverted start. I'm not sure exactly how that happens. Maybe Chip knows a little bit more. But otherwise, have fun. Yes. Okay, uh, just to, I can't remember, is this a rolling start or a uh, standing start? This will be a rolling start, so a standard uh, start behind a pace car. And on the inversion, just so you know, any of you challenge guys, if uh, you come up in the top five uh, in the finishers in Heat 1, um, you're uh, definitely going to be in that inverted portion of the start. And uh, because the second heat starts as we finish, um, with the top five being inverted. So the fifth place finisher in Heat 1 will be on pole position for Heat 2. And that will apply to everyone regardless of class since we're all in the same car tonight. How much time do we have before uh, qualifying? Looks like we have seven minutes uh, until we qualify. And uh, then it'll be a five minute qualification over three laps individual. So we won't all be on the track at the same time. And uh, then shortly after that, we'll start heat one. 20 minutes, 20 laps. This should be a fun race tonight. It's a little bit of a bull ring and uh, she can get away from you when the tires get a little melty or if you overcook it. Um, I didn't have such a good prelude. I wound up getting into a little bit of trouble, so didn't enjoy my first race very the truck much. truck temperature's increasing. It's now 83 Fahrenheit. And uh, second race didn't go much better, so. But of course, my start for second race was a lot worse because of my finish in the first three. Yeah, Chris comes in at the last minute and shows us how it's done. I know it, I'm telling you, the only way we're going to make this guy slow is by squaring his tires before a race. Check it flags out, P3. <laughs> okay, let's get qualified! See if we can uh, get in there and uh, qualify well. Prelude, uh, I got one good lap in and then I crashed out and couldn't one. get another one. Happened to be good enough to put me on second on the field, so. Exit's clear. Push. All right, Chip, we've got three laps to get the job done. It's now 83 Fahrenheit. Six, five, four, three. Four. 
five. Four. Damn it. Five. Scratches one lap. Time there. Four. Five. One more lap. Six. Five. Four. Delta T two zero point zero three three. See if that holds. Doubt it will. Chris is fast, as is Randall. Hey, who's going to snake it from me? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Did I get pull? That's the end of the session. Pole position. Nice ah. one. I'll be damned. Nicely done, guys. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out how that happened. Good job, Chip. We'll see if uh, I can hold on to it through turn one. That, that's the real test. <laughs> it's all good. The air temp is 72 Fahrenheit. Here we go. Good luck, gentlemen. Remember, lap one, nobody wins it. Take it nice and easy. Orange zone violations are in Follow the pace car in the right column. Two. Of course, they are self-policed. But be honest.
All right, Chip, be ready. Green, green, green. Three, four, five, four, three. Sector one time's okay. Four. Five. Four. The gap behind is now 1.2 seconds. Five. Four, 
3. Sector 3 is 0.4 off the pace. is now 1.1 seconds. Four. Five. Four. Five. Sector 2 is 0.8 off the pace. OK, Jet, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. Increase to 1.5 seconds. Four. Five. Four. Five.
four, five, four, five, six, five, four, three, is now 1.5 seconds. Sector 1 is 0.3 off the pace. Five. Chip, two laps left, your P1.
four. Five. Thanks, Michael. Good, don't be distracted. Defend your Four position. Last lap. Keep your shit together. You're not home yet. Thank you. I'm not going to say a word. I'm just going to just going to soak the moment in for a second. I tried to scare you at the top of the hill a little bit and backed off. You, you had the line. I backed off and I was just going to follow you around the finish line. Ah, disappointing. Sorry, man. No, it was, uh, um, it was the car in front of me that, that, that threw me off. So, oh, well. I love Alaska internet. The track temp is 92 Fahrenheit, P3. Bit of a dancing bear, is it? Two tin cans and a string. We need to follow car number 713 in the right column. Just about. Two. Lost smoke signals then. <laughs> well, welcome back. Thank you. Hopefully you can uh, stay stay for the whole session. Yeah, it'd be nice. I have a hard enough time placing. I don't need any help. Get a little tired of looking at this uh, got clown thing here, though. <laughs> I wish I'd just stay close enough to read it. Yeah, you got a nice profile view of the clown uh, last time uh, at the finish, huh? Yeah, I, I, I try not to look at that, honestly. <laughs>
Delta Five. to leader 0.163. Delta Four. to leader 0.415. Sector 3 is 0.4 off the face. Sector 1 is 0.4 off the face. It's now about 1.8. Delta to lead to 0 0.927. Decrease to 1.0. Sorry about that. Four. Five. Four. Delta to leader 2.270. Delta to leader zero point three five three. Thank you. Okay, Jim. Oh, yeah? Ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. Five. Man, right. Thanks, Andy. Four. Five. Pass you on the right. Six. Five. 
2.724 Delta to leader 2.724 Yes, sir. 10 minutes of repairs or 13 oh. minutes left in the game. It's not a game. Five. Oh, sorry. In the race. I've got 22 minutes left of the past to do. I feel better, Alex. Five. That's me in the race. Go ahead. to leader Five, zero point three four, seven nine three Half distance, fuel looks good. The gap in front is now 4.8 seconds. Sector 3 is 0.5 off the pace. <laughs> Sector 1 time is good. Four. Five. That's me on the straight. Four. How are you guys? Thanks, Anthony. Okay. All good. Keeping it safe. Delta to leader 0 0.521. Thanks, Andy. Yep. Okay. All good. Ask me on the right. Five, four, Delta three, to leader seventeen point six two six. Four. 
That's me up top. There you go. Five, four, the gap in front has increased to 14 seconds. Thank you. Four. Five. Thanks, Armando. Four. We need to find a tent in sector two. Five. Six. Delta Five. The gap behind is now 2.3. That was a uh, 49.9. That's on the right. That's you on the right. Four. Five. Four. Five. Last lap time was at 49.5. 2, 1, 2, 3, Sorry Five. Yellow flag, watch out. Four. Michael, I didn't feel a tap. Did I get you? Five. Yeah, you did. V6, come on man, this is disappointing. There's decent pace in this car. Shut up, Jim. That's me on the right. Yeah, I didn't feel anything, Michael. Sorry. That's me on the right. Four. Five. Four. Five. That's me. Five. Delta Four. to leader one point nine seven one. On the right. Pass me on the right. Six. Five. Delta Two laps left. One point three one three. Thanks, Leon. Four. SC on the right. Five. 
think. On your right. On the right. Four. On the right. Okay, Chip. Stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. Five. Six place. White flag, one wall out. That's me on the right. So Williams behind is now 18 seconds. Four. Five. Right side. Right side. Ed, what the heck happened back there, man? Five. I really have a hard time with the uh, traffic. Yeah, yeah, yeah we were tough there a couple of times, wasn't it? Five. Three. Delta P5, that's the end of the race. We'll get him next time. One. Very good, very good, yep. Yeah. Well, that was... Yeah, it's uh, no room for mistakes, too. Can't, you lose a tenth or two tenths of a second, your lap's gone. It was a good race, though, guys. It was uh, a lot of fun until it wasn't. <laughs> hey, by the way, just a reminder in case you missed it uh, in Discord, um, Stephen is going to be putting on an EDE at Road Atlanta in prep for the, the turkey trot on the 24th. So if you're planning on participating in that, you might want to check out Discord. I think it's Monday night at 7.30 Pacific. Great. Thanks, Chip. Yeah, we'll see you guys out there, too. Yeah, thanks, Chip. Well, that is to say is that that was a, uh, a good run. Um, Wish I had won that first race. That was just stupid. Slower car on the the normal line, so I had to deviate my line. And uh, in the process of trying to figure out where I was going, I forgot to downshift. Well, no, I forgot to lift. Um, I should have been in fifth, um, but uh, I didn't have the right line and wound up losing track, going off track right there. Like, I don't know, maybe 400 feet, 400 feet from the the, the finish line. Um, and finish third. That is disappointing um, at best. Um, very anger making. Um, but uh, second heat uh, did okay. The the spin out everything all on my own. There was nothing uh, in either case actually. Both of my uh, my problems were uh, dealing with lapped cars, but they, it was on me. I mean, I just I I couldn't figure out how to get around the car safely. And uh, by the time I went around, I was compromised and next turn just lost it. Um, I need to figure that out. That's just racecraft. Um, and uh, man, that's just, just a shitty feeling. I gotta tell you, um, to be that close and to blow it both both heats, that's, that's really upsetting. Anyway, um, that's a night. Um, we're off next week, so we're not going to have any uh, Wild West Zone races, but there is a turkey trot that one of the uh, groups is putting on on the 24th I may participate in. i um, going to kind of play that by ear. Um, uh, probably will be doing that in the, uh, uh, the cup car, GT3 cup car, um, if I do that, because I can't stand driving the Cayman anymore. I just I can't do it. Um, those are the two cars. Um, so I may broadcast that next week, but uh, not committing to that. Um, but I am definitely uh, going to be back, um, not next week, but the week after. Um, we will be at Silverstone, um, and that should be a, uh, a pretty fun race. Um, I've never actually raced at Silverstone. I've done time trials there, um, but never actually raced. Um, not, a tr not a track I'm very familiar with, so we'll see how it goes. But it uh, should be fun nonetheless. And then, of course, our final uh, race five. Um, three weeks from now is going to be at Imola, and I actually love that track. That's a lot of fun. I've driven that quite a few times in both races and uh, in time trials and enjoy that track quite a bit. Um, I'm not brutally fast on that track, um, but uh, I, I hope to maybe improve some times and, and do pretty well there. Um, but regardless, I'll be there and see how we do. Anyway, have a good night. Thank you very much, and 
Talk to you later. Bye-bye. It would be absolutely unfair to just squeak off without thanking the people that make my racing possible. I want to first thank Nicole and Mackenzie for supporting me. Home is where the heart is, and uh, I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have their support. They let me come in here, close my door, and uh, do my own thing uh, without disturbance, which is always nice, and dinner's always ready for me at the end of a race. Can't beat that. Also want to thank the folks at SpyCloud. Always uh, very supportive. In fact, uh, they, uh, they some of them watched uh, the stream tonight, which was kind of exciting. So thank you guys very much. I appreciate your support. PCA Sim Racing and the Steering Committee, all the race participants, everyone involved, top-notch organization and a lot of fun. Really, really can't say how much fun a good league is in iRacing. If you've ever participated in iRacing before, you know that uh, sometimes a racing isn't always great. Uh, you get some uh, bad behavior on track and all sorts of other sort of shenanigans and you know, we have our problems. It's like a, a family, right? We we have little, uh, um, uh, little bit of elbowing, a little bit of shoving now and again. But all in all, great group of guys, and we're committed to working it out and racing clean, racing like gentlemen. So uh, a great organization. So PCA Sim Racing, if you're a PCA member and you aren't sim racing, you want to look into it. Definitely do that because it's really it's a lot of fun. It's not quite the real thing, but it's uh, it's a pretty good uh, good simulation. And then, of course, uh, the Redwood region of the Porsche Club of America and Zone 7. Thank you very much for letting me fly your colors. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you. Bye-bye.